talk a little bit about uh, environmental equity uh, considerations, correct? Um, because uh, tailpipe emissions, as I mentioned early on, settle really close uh, to expressway systems um, and the population next to major roadways are overproportionately exposed uh, to pollutants. That's a printout of a, a Cal3 QHC model uh, that we ran as part of this study. Um, our our uh, trusted um, collaborator, uh, Bill O'Shea with O'Shea Environmental, uh, created that uh, map for us and, and performed uh, some of the MOOCs modeling that, that went into, into this study, um, I should mention. Um, so that printout basically shows the receptor grid assumptions that are assumed um, and, and then and, and checked for the, for the level of concentration one would expect next to a certain line source like a roadway uh, from tailpipe brake tire wear emissions. And again, the environmental equity considerations here are that you have a lot of minorities or low-income housing along, along these systems. So if you provide a clean fuel, they, they, you know, they can benefit really from a clean fuel overproportionately. Next slide. Um, and, and that slide uh, shows our GIS analysis um, as well, where we basically collaborate. You know, in one exercise, we run the atmospheric model to see how pollutants drop out next to expressways. And then in the second model, we, we have ran a GIS model and we, we, we check the census tracts over which those pollutants settle the most, right? And that's obviously, we saw a strong correlation that a lot of the pollutants settle over some of the minority and low, low income areas. Next slide, please. 